welcome back all you wandering rogues who love to feel the touch of fresh mowed grass between your bare toes. Let's start this slack tide travel guide with a digital journey beginning in one of my favorite places on the planet, Jackson Square in the great city of New Orleans. From there we'll head east to our base of operations, St. Simons Island, and specifically Fort Frederica National Monument on the banks of the Frederica River. On this episode, we're leaving the salt air of the Golden Isles and heading to the North Georgia mountains in the great city of Blue Ridge. So grab a glass of wine or a pour of your favorite whiskey, sit back, and let's take a deep dive into an economical vacation for a family of five in the Switzerland of the South. Blue Ridge, Georgia is an eclectic community located on the doorstep of the Appalachian Trail and is flanked by the Cahuta Wilderness Preserve and the Chattahoochee Natural Forest, as well as offering easy access to lakes Blue Ridge, Notley, and Chattoo, making it a popular destination for campers, hikers, fishermen, and outdoor enthusiasts of all backgrounds. Before we get started, if you like the content you find on the Slag Tide Adventures channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Unfortunately for all those interested in traveling to the North Georgia mountains, flying into Blue Ridge probably is not an option. Luckily, the city is located less than two hours north of Atlanta and is a relatively easy drive up 575 from Canton, Georgia. Its proximity to the capital of the New South makes the area an appealing destination for families who are visiting the metro area. As you can see on the screenshot of Google Maps, Blue Ridge lies roughly four hours from both Nashville, Tennessee and Charlotte, North Carolina making it a perfect target for people looking to escape for a long weekend. I took some video of our drive up into Blue Ridge, and regardless of whatever direction you journey from, the ride will be picturesque and offer an invigorating opportunity to drive the mountain roads. In addition to Charlotte and Nashville, Blue Ridge is an easy drive from Chattanooga, Birmingham, Knoxville, and Greenville, South Carolina. So if you're looking for a destination for that quick getaway with your family, take a moment to look into the North Georgia mountains. If driving isn't an option, cheap flights into Atlanta abound from all over the U.S. Here are some examples that I found on the internet recently using Fly.com's fare calendar. $109 from Chicago, $127 from New York, $126 from Dallas, and $217 from Los Angeles. At worst case scenario, a family of five can fly into Atlanta, rent a vehicle, and get up into the Blue Ridge Mountains for about $1,600. I know what you're thinking, but what about that lodging? If you're like me, you're looking for a great value in your vacations, and that means finding a nice, clean property that will allow you to decompress without adding any stress onto your plate. Well, Slack Tide Nation, I've got you covered. All of these properties will comfortably sleep five guests and come with plenty of amenities to make your vacation enjoyable. Check out this North Georgia mountain home with a front porch, a deck for grilling, stainless steel appliances, hot tub, and deep water dock on the lake for your family to enjoy whether it's boating, swimming, or fishing, for around $200 a night. The home comes complete with two kayaks for your use on your stay. Or what about a Tacoa riverfront home with a great outdoor entertaining area, a fishing dock to catch trout for dinner. It comes complete with a bathroom with a whiskey barrel sink and clawfoot tub, all for under $100 a night. After fees, that's a paltry $786 for a family of five to spend a week in the North Georgia mountains. Our last property has a covered entertainment area with a hot tub and plenty of outdoor seating, a great open concept living room and kitchen, a deck that overlooks the forest, and a fire pit besides a trout stream. This property is within a five minute drive of downtown Blue Ridge and costs only $118 a night. And just in case sleeping in the mountains isn't what you're after, there are plenty of quality hotels in downtown Blue Ridge that check in at well under $200 a night. Now that we've gotten you to Blue Ridge cheaply and found you an inexpensive place to lay your head, I'm sure you're wondering, Slack, what do we do once we've arrived? Well, Blue Ridge is a great base of operations for a multitude of outdoor activities that your family's gonna love. Let's start with taking a ride on the Blue Ridge Scenic Railway. The open air train takes riders on a four hour journey along the Tacoa River and through the Appalachian foothills. Our journey begins in downtown Blue Ridge and includes a two-hour layover in McKaysville, Georgia, where riders can peruse the downtown area and stroll across the state line into Tennessee. If you're unable to hike your way into the wilderness to enjoy the scenery, the Blue Ridge Scenic Railway is a great way to experience nature firsthand from the comfort of a seated position. 
The railway offers a variety of ticket packages, and depending on the time of year, the view will vary from fall foliage, holiday festivities, to spring blooming of dogwood trees. Prices vary depending on the time of year, but range from $55 to $70, and be sure to check out the calendar for days of operation before scheduling your trip. Regardless whatever time of year you may be visiting the North Georgia mountains, there will be tons of opportunities for your family to get out and enjoy the outdoors. Blue Ridge offers something for all outdoor enthusiasts, so if you're looking to wet a hook or just scuff up some hiking boots, let's take a moment to examine everything the area has to offer. If you're looking for something a little more rustic, the area is littered with camping opportunities that will allow you to sleep under the stars. Whether you're primitive camping beneath a tent or backing in a half a million dollar RV, there are plenty of places for a family to rough it for a few days in North Georgia. Many of these campgrounds have outstanding facilities. Just be sure to stay within the designated camping areas and leave the campground as pristine as you found it. A trip to Blue Ridge would not be complete without a walk in the woods. The area has miles of designated hiking trails throughout the Chattahoochee National Forest or the Cahooter Nature Preserve. Day hikes and through hikes abound, and hikers are liable to see any number of different wildlife. Just be sure to stay on designated trails and make sure to pack plenty of water and snacks. Blue Ridge is a great base of operations for visiting any one of the 10 state parks located in North Georgia, and I advise you to make wise use of your time while you're in town, get off that swim dock that we've rented, and spend a few days commuting with nature. Georgia state parks are usually pristine, and the state does a nice job of maintaining the facilities. They're great places for day visits or extended stays in one of the park's campgrounds or rental cottages. I'm not going to review each of the parks listed, but I would recommend visitors take the time to check out Amicola State Park and its beautiful falls, Vogel State Park, and if you're looking to endeavor with something a bit more strenuous, try hiking to Lula Gorge State Park. Try the Hurricane Falls Trail in the park, which includes the pulse raising suspension bridge and a journey to the very bottom of the falls. While you're in the area, take a drive up Bell Mountain just outside of Hiawassee, Georgia. For years, people have been coming up and painting these rocks, and regardless how you feel about it, it does make for an interesting view. You'll get panoramic views of all the North Georgia mountains, as well as a look down onto Hiawassee, Georgia, on the shores of Lake Chattoo. So if you're in the North Georgia mountains, make it a point to climb one of the state's peaks and take in a sunset. If you are physically unable to make the trek atop one of the mountains, many have observation points accessible by car. Georgia's highest peak, Brasstown Bald, is easily accessible for anyone and has an outstanding observation post atop its peak. Standing nearly 4,800 feet tall, Brasstown Ball provides travelers with a 360 degree view of the region's entire mountain range. With lakes Notley, Chattoog, and Blue Ridge, as well as the Tacoa River within a 30 minute drive of its downtown area, Blue Ridge is a great place for a summer vacation if you long to get out on the water. The lakes have plenty of marinas that offer boat dockage if you own your own boat. Kayak rentals are readily available at businesses that dot the lake shores and the area boasts an impressive number of boat rental and charter captain services if you want to get the family out on the water during those hot summer days. Boat rental options include pontoon and deck boats, jet skis, ski boats, center consoles, and larger boats in the 27 to 30 foot range. Rental prices start at about $450 for a half day for a pontoon or center console and range up to nearly $1,500 for a larger vessel. Personal watercrafts rent for an hourly rate. The Tacoa River and the surrounding area has some of the best trout fishing that you will find east of the Mississippi. This map of North Georgia details the number of trout streams that can be found in the area, and trout can be caught as far south as Atlanta in the Chattahoochee River. Georgia's Department of Natural Resources can assist travelers with acquiring a fishing license online for a nominal fee, and fishermen need to be aware of trout fishing rules and regulations. Many of the streams in North Georgia are managed trout fisheries and have limitations on what bait and tackle may be used. Anglers may catch one of three species of trout in Georgia's streams, the native brook trout and rainbow and brown trout, which are both stocked as game fish in the watershed throughout the area. Guides who specialize in trout fishing abound in North Georgia and will be happy to assist visitors on planning a fishing trip to the area. This guide's website has a lot of information about trout fishing in the Tacoa River Basin, so check him out at GeorgiaWildTrout.com. 
Half-day trips begin at the surprisingly low rate of $200 for a four-hour guided excursion. When you're in the mood to ease back into civilization, head to downtown Blue Ridge. It's a quaint little shopping district littered with excellent bars and restaurant choices, ranging from inexpensive family fare to luxury night out with the missus. There's tons for the kids to see on the strip as it's littered with free range chickens, fudge shops, and high end candy retailers. If you're looking for an outfitter to supply you with the best trail gear available, that can be found in Blue Ridge as well. The shops downtown can provide mom with some retail therapy and allow everyone of all ages to grab some North Georgia Mountains apparel to commemorate their trip. If you're looking to quench your thirst a bit, check out one of North Georgia's local breweries. At the time when this video was filmed, there was no less than a dozen craft breweries in North Georgia area. On this trip, we took in lunch and a few pints at the Hiawasa Brewery, which is a favorite stopping point for people on the Appalachian Trail. On the day of our visit, the brewery offered 20 different styles that were all brewed in-house, as well as a great outdoor seating venue complete with cornhole and dartboards. The brewery regularly hosts live music on its covered patio and has an impressive food menu to boot. If wetting your whistle with some fermented grain isn't your cup of tea, maybe you'd be more interested in visiting one of the area's more than two dozen wineries and vineyards. On this visit, we took in a flight of wine from Cane Creek Vineyards in Young Harris, Georgia. The winery is part of North Georgia's farm trail that showcases modern, sustainable farming and boasts an impressive serving area, vineyard, country store, and restaurant. From the tasting house, visitors have a great view of the entire farm and are welcome to walk the vineyards and survey the farm's inner workings. If you've had your fill of kayaking, catching trout, mountaintop sunsets, and peaceful nature hikes, enjoy the drive through the Chattahoochee National Forest and visit the Bavarian-themed village of Helen, Georgia. Here you can sip a German-style cold one in the town's beer garden, shop for your own pair of lederhosen, or enjoy some German-style food at one of the town's many restaurants. When the weather's warm enough, the family can go tubing on the Chattahoochee River through town, pan for gold just outside the village, and take a ride on the mountain roller coaster that you watched during the intro. Helen, Georgia is a must-visit attraction if you're in the North Georgia mountains. Just outside of Blue Ridge, you'll find one of the area's most interesting attractions, the Expedition Bigfoot Sasquatch Museum. This roadside attraction is dedicated to the research of America's secretive great ape, Bigfoot. It boasts an impressive amount of exhibitions in a very small area and contains enough video and audio material to keep the biggest skeptics busy for at least 90 minutes. The museum is open daily with a nominal entry fee and awesome gift shop, so get in there and get you some Bigfoot gear. There's so much to do in the North Georgia mountains that it's impossible to cover in just one short video. The area has at least 30 golf courses, adventure parks, a tank driving school, and thousands of other things a family can do on vacation. As this video comes to a close, I'm going to leave you with some footage of the alpaca farm in Young Harris where your family can feed the animals. I'll leave links to all the pertinent websites in the description, as well as links to the full-length videos of some of the places I've detailed. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and give Slack Tide Adventures a follow. Remember, life is too short not to have fun. Get out there and find your own Slack Tide Adventures.